I've been involved with YouTube basically ever since it um, it was created back in 2006, or at least I started with 2006 or 2008 when I would finally understand what the fact of uh, the internet was and how to actually use it. Um, but we all know that YouTube has become more of a business for the bigger YouTubers or for people that need to make a living and they make a living off of making videos. And I'm totally okay with that. That is perfectly, that, that is awesome. That is kind of like, that is an ultimate goal of mine if that's if that comes to it. It's not my only goal. If, if the, something comes from this channel and it blows up for some weird reason that you guys want to enjoy my, like you want to watch me live my life, that'd be awesome. But I'm not expecting any of that. I don't, I don't, uh, the reason I make YouTube videos is to better myself as a filmmaker and to document my life so that later down the road I can look back on everything and I, be, and I can reminisce and the all of my memories and everything can come back to me as more of a nostalgic feel. Um, but so many people nowadays are making YouTube YouTube channels just to make the money, just to blow up and become famous. And it's quite irritating, actually. Um, it, w when you go into YouTube, there are like there are a few ways that you can go about it, um, or that you should go about it. You, if you're a business already, if you're a successful business, or even just like a local business in an area, and you want to make a video and you want to promote that, you can use that as promotion. That is what it is. If you want to express yourself with a talent or something, or just film yourself doing whatever, family movies, whatever you want to do. That is awesome too. Or if you want to review stuff, if you want to vlog, if you want to do whatever, that's cool. As long as you're doing it to better yourself in a way, or express yourself, or um, just having fun and joining the community. That is that is what YouTube is about. That is how what I feel YouTube is, and that's what it's always been. Yes, for bigger YouTubers like your Smoshes, your Shane Dawson's, your Epic Meal Times, everybody like that. Yes, they're making a good amount of money. Okay, PewDiePie too. They're making a good amount of money. And, um, it is a business for them. But it wasn't at the beginning. And that's what I'm trying to get at here. If you go in it, if you go to YouTube and you're like, bam, let's make this a business, business. I've never made a video in my life, I've never done anything like this, or you're like, ah, I've done a few, but I want to get rich, I want to get famous, I want to get that uh, million subscriber plaque. You're going at it the freaking wrong way. You're not doing, you're not, you're the reason YouTube has become one of my most favorite and least favorite areas. Uh, most favorite because of how creative everybody is and how personable people are and how awesome the community of YouTube is. But awful and I, I don't like it because of these people that go on thinking, I'm just going to make a quick buck, I'm going to make a lot of money, I'm going to do this, I'm going to get famous for making, copying other people's ideas and putting them up on YouTube and just using their ways of advertising around places and like bombarding people with spam to become a famous person. Like that, that irritates me and that really gets under my skin and um, that's not what YouTube's about. And I've, I've, I've dealt with a couple people that are all about that and that, um, uh, really just want the fame and the and, and the money out of this and they want to make it a business from the start where they're um, here at the college like or somewhere they're they're putting up advertisements on local TVs and they're putting up posters and stuff for their YouTube channel that they haven't even put out a video for yet they're making it a business before it even has potential to be a business YouTube is a business off of luck and a, a lot of it is luck um, you could have be the most like talented person, but until the right person finds you, or until that right group of people finds you, or it gets put on that right area, it's it, it's all about you and your friends and you making yourself better as a person, or better as a filmmaker, or better as whatever, or just joining the community. But if you start it as that business idea, you're going at it so wrong, and you're you're making the YouTube community. Quite frankly, to me, a, a worse place to be around. 
I, I don't want to be around people that go in just being, I want to be popular, I want to be rich. I want to go with people that can help me get ideas and help me better myself as a person and also as a filmmaker or as just f finding people to connect with. There are so many different forums out there on um, on YouTube or just different areas of YouTube, different channels, different everything. There's anything from uh, comic books to film people like Film Riot all the way to sketches like Smosh to just regular day, everyday vloggers like Casey Neistat. And everything is just inspirational to me. And when you go in it as a business thinking you're just going to get views in and you're not going to give back. To, you, you, you say you're giving back, but really all you want is that money and what is that fame and you're just you're not doing it right and you're, you're making it a, um, a worse place for us youtubers that are trying to make it a place for our um, ex expressions of ourselves and for our creativity and for our documentation of our lives and just having something to hold on to and to show our kids when we're older or to just better ourselves and you're making that area a more polluted place where it shouldn't have been polluted in the first place.